Hello everyone, so in this video I will go over the second part of the assignment number 5 where we have to create a month calendar using loops and conditions. As you can see here, that's what would we like to create. So let's do this. Um, so I already created a list so that I can print all the 7 days in one line. So let's do that first. Oh no, let's actually first um, print the month's name. Okay. So let's say I print and the month is January. Now obviously I want to print the month um, in the middle of so here for example uh, so that it looks it is positioned in the middle. Okay. So how do I print all the seven days uh, like this? Uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, having some space. So we can create a loop to do this. So for example, I can say for the day in days, and I can print them, right? Print the day, and since I don't want to go to a new line, I'll just use end equal quotes. Okay, so that should uh, print all the seven days with the month's name. So let's see if this is done properly. Okay, so I don't have any space uh, because I did not add any space. So let's add space in between them. Uh, we can add spaces more, uh, more spaces later on, but for now this is good. Okay, so we printed the month's uh, name. We printed all the seven days, just like this. Now we have to print all the numbers from one to thirty-one. So let's print all the numbers from one to thirty-one. How do I print all the numbers from one to thirty-one? So again, we can use um, a loop. Before I use a loop, I'm going to do an empty print statement so that I can go to a new line because otherwise anything that I'm going to do, it will be printed next to Friday. Okay, so just adding a space. I'm sorry, adding a new line. So just write a comment, adding a new... Uh, okay, not actually adding, going to a new line. Going to a new line after printing all the seven days. Okay, so this will allow us to go to a new line. So now we want to print um, all the dates, right? So say for i in range. If you know how range works, I can do one comma thirty two. So that will allow me to go one to thirty one because that's what we want, right? One to thirty one. Okay, and then I can just print it, print i. So now if I do this, uh, let's see what it does. Okay, you can see that I'm printing all the 31 days, but obviously we don't want to print this as uh, one number in one line. So what we can do again, we can do end equal double quotes again, so that these lines this will be in one line. However, obviously we don't want to print everything in one line, so let's see what is our next thing. So yes, we printed all the dates from 1 to 31, but obviously they are not organized, so now we have to organize them. So let's see how this can be done. So before I do this, we need to talk about something. So first, let's comment this out. We can do control and slash to comment all this line after selecting it. Okay, so control and slash, backslash. And then it should comment out all of them. Actually, sorry, uh, control plus uh, forward slash, not backslash. Okay, so let's do something and let me see if you guys know this. So I'm going to do print uh, 10 percentage 3. 
Now if I do this, uh, we want to see what gets printed. So 10% is 3. So if I do 10% 3, it is going to print, uh, still running, 1. So why does it print 1 if I do 10% 3? Okay, so let's try to understand uh, this. So basically what you are doing here, you are checking what happens, uh, what is the remainder if you divide 10 by 3. Okay, so for example if I show you from paint, it will be easy to discuss. Uh, so basically what you're trying to do here is that you have 3 and you have 10. And you are first checking, okay, how many 3's that you can fit in 9, I'm sorry, 10, that is 3. So 3 times 3 is 9, and you subtract it and you get a 1. So this 1 is what you are seeing. So the remainder is 1. Okay, that is why 10 percentage 3 is going to be 1. Let's try one more, if I do print uh, 12 percentage 5, what do you think we should see? we'll see 2, right? 5 times 2 is 10 and the remainder is 2. So again, this time what we did is we again have the number, uh, sorry, not 3, we have number 5 and we are trying to uh, do 12. So 5 times 2, when I can fit 2 5's and if I subtract this, the remainder is 2 and that's the reason we are seeing 2. So now you may be asking why we are doing this, right? So there is a reason we are doing this, so let's delete this. So percentage, you can see that it shows you the remainder. So this is an arithmetic operator that will show you what's the remainder if you divide two numbers. Now let's comment, uh, so we commented this out, so let's remove the comment. You can again do the same thing, control and slash, and it will remove them. Now the reason we are using uh, the percentage is because, let me show you, if you notice here the last day that we have, if you notice the numbers you can see it's 7, 14, 21, 28. And if you notice all these numbers are divisible by 7. So 7 divided by 7 is 1, there is no remainder. 14 divided by 7, it's 2, no remainder. 21 no remainder, 28, no remainder. So if you divide each of these numbers by 7, there will be no remainder. That means it's 0. So that's what we're going to use as a condition that, okay, if this number is divisible by 7, that means that if the remainder is 0, I will create a new line. So after printing 7, the 8 will get printed in a new line. So let's see how that works. Again, our goal is not just print um, the i, which is just 1 to 31, right? Yeah, basically, yeah, we want to print them, but we want to go to a new line. So what's our condition to go to that new line? Our condition is that, okay, um, if, if um, i, because that's is referring to each of the numbers, one, two, three, four, right? So you're gonna see i percentage seven double equal zero. If this is the case, then we'll go to a new line. So I'm gonna go to a new line. So let me write this as a comment. If i is divisible by seven, divisible by 7 go to a new line so it will go to a new line if it divisible by 7 that means there is no remainder so remainder should be 0 so if you start this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it will stop at 7 it will say oh, okay 7 is divisible by 7 that means I'm gonna create a new line okay so let's see if this works or how this works so if I run this 
So it's trying to connect to the server to show you the result. Now you can see it. It's printing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. As soon as it's done printing 7, it goes to a new line. Again, in the new line, it's going to print from 8 to 14. After 14, again, it's going to the new line. Remember, the new line is created when I percentage 7 is equal to 0. So 7 divided by 7 means the remainder is 0. So that means it's going to create a new line for you. Okay? This is how it is working. Now, there are a few more things we have to do. Basically, we are done with our code, but there are a few things you'll notice that we want to keep the number consistent, so 0, 1, so that it doesn't, doesn't show 1 only, 0, 1. All these numbers are two digits, so we want to add a 0 with numbers 1 to 9. So let's see how can we add this. So remember, you will add a 0 if the number is less than 10. So what you can do is we can create a condition to do this. So let's create a condition that, okay, if um, i is less than 10, in that case, um, I'll print a 0. I'll print a 0. Now, you have to be careful because when you're printing a 0, you're not going to go to a new line after this. So we want to end the line after printing 0. So there should be nothing. Um, after 0. So there should be no space. It should be 0 and the next number is going to be 1. Okay, so if i is uh, less than 10, we'll print 0 and it. So it's not going to go to a new line, not going to add a space. And then we'll also need to print uh, the i as well, right? So if you say i is less than 10, if you just print 0, that means just going to print the 0. Obviously, we are not just printing the 0, we are also printing the 1. So we will also need to print i and then I'm going to also end this line. However, this time I will add some space. But I'll show you that later. So again, what is uh, done here? Let's focus it. Focus here. Um, so if i is less than 10, we will add a 0 before each of the i's. Okay, so from 1 to 9 we will add a 0. So let's see how this is working now. Uh, it's showing, oh, okay, because we also have print i here, so let me comment this out. Okay, so you can see it's printing 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8, 9. Okay, and then we are not seeing anything because we only have the condition if i is less than 10, then print i. But obviously, you also need to print i if it is more than 10, right? So you're going to create an else condition. Is that okay? Uh, if it is less than 10, then we will do this. But if it is not less than 10, then it will print it as it is. So we'll say print i and equal double quotes. Okay, so because we also need to print the numbers um, which are not less than 10, right? So if it is less than 10, we'll print i and also add a 0 before i. But if it is not less than 10, then we'll keep printing i which is, I mean, it's, uh, it's going to start with 10, 11, and so on. And then we'll also have this condition. So be careful here. There are several conditions that are working together. So first, you will start with this if. So first, i is 1, right? So it is less than 10. It will add 0. And the if will be done. Else will obviously not work since if is working. Then it's going to go to this if. Remember, it's not going to return back to the for loop without looking at this. So this is not going to work when i is 1. It will start working when i is 7. So after printing all the 7 numbers, the if will be done and then it will come here and it will execute this. It will add the new line. Okay, so let me add uh, another comment here. Else, 
uh, I will get printed but no zero will be added okay so you have this if and else and then we also have an independent if condition okay so let's see how this works so now all we have to do is uh, fix the spacing right you can see that we don't have um, enough spaces because Saturday should be one then Sunday should be two three four so let's add um, spaces um, so first uh, when we're adding a space I'm not adding any space here because zero and one they should get printed together right we are adding a space after this um, so let's add some space one two three let's see if I do three what it does uh, and you can see it looks good uh, I can actually add one more space here and one more space here okay so now I can see that it looks slightly better so zero one two three four and it's aligned with the days Saturday Sunday Monday right now we have to print um, I mean sorry we have to fix what happens after 10 which is this year in else we did not add any space so let's add some spaces here so one two three four and now you can see it's completed so we just created the month's calendar using conditions loop and using a list okay so that's it guys if you still have questions please uh, let me know uh, write a comment and I'll get back to you Thank you guys. Bye.